In the past, whenever we hear the word cloud, we would think about fluffy white cotton balls in the sky. But these days, it's likely that we also think about the services that conveniently deliver various computing resources over the internet. Back in the old days, we used to save our documents locally or on a USB drive. But now, we generally use Google Docs since it runs on almost every platform and devices that enables better collaboration between team members because different groups of people can access, edit and share information even if they are not in the same location. Why is it so convenient? Well, whatever resource you may need, be it storage, processing power, databases, networking, analytics, AI or apps, the cloud makes it all available on demand wherever you need it. It's similar to how easily accessible electricity has become. You want to use electricity, just plug it in, and you only pay for the amount that you use. This pretty much sums up the cloud's pay-as-you-use pricing model and cost advantages that it provides due to its economy of scale. Cloud computing provides a variety of services based on three common delivery models, which are infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service. There is usually a lot of confusion about what each of these acronyms means. To make things easier, we use the analogy of everyone's favorite food, pizza. Traditionally, on-prem architecture is like homemade pizza, meaning that if you're craving pizza, you need to get the necessary ingredients and equipment to turn those ingredients into a cooked pizza and have the beverages and dining table to complete your pizza dinner. In other words, you will have to do everything yourself. An IaaS or infrastructure as a service model is like buying a ready-made frozen pizza. You just need to go home and heat it up in your oven you don't have to worry about the infrastructure needed to prepare the pizza from scratch. From a data center perspective, IAS gives you the essential compute, storage and networking resources on demand, so you can bypass the cost and complexity of buying and managing your physical servers and data center infrastructure. On the other hand, platform as a service is like making a call to the pizza delivery to your place ready to eat and you don't have to worry about the infrastructure to make the pizza from scratch or the platform to heat it. You have the freedom to serve the pizza in the kitchen or wherever you wish. PAAS provides everything developers need for application development without headaches of updating the operating system, development tools, maintaining hardware. Instead, the entire PAS environment or platform is delivered by a third-party service provider via the cloud. Last but not least, in a software-as-a-service model, you do not need to prepare anything. Just go to your favorite Italian restaurant and enjoy your pizza. You don't even have to worry about cleaning up afterwards. Right? So in this case, maintenance, security patches, updates, etc. There are several ways you can, that you can deploy on the cloud, each with its advantages and disadvantages. Therefore, this is an important consideration early on in your cloud strategy. First, we have the public cloud deployment model. This is similar to shared housing, where you store your data in a home that you share with others. In this model, you have to share the same living area, i.e. the same resources, cost of hardware, application, and bandwidth with a large number of users. For example, Google Cloud Platform is one of the leading public cloud providers in the world. The second is the private cloud. This is like purchasing a home. Since you own the infrastructure, you have greater control over security and do not have to share your resources with others. But obviously, this will require a large upfront investment on your part and you have to maintain it yourself. For example, an on-prem data center hosted by a company. Last but not least, 
the hybrid cloud model gives you the best of both worlds. You can have a private locked room of your own for better security control and enjoy shared public area where other resources may come at a lower cost. To choose the right deployment model for your organization, you need to consider from a few different factors, such as your business goals, your data storage needs, your security and privacy requirements, hardware preference, future scalability plans, business continuity, and more. Only then will you be able to weight out the advantages and disadvantages of each model and decide whether they align with your unique requirements. Google's consumer service, such as Google Search, Google Maps, etc. Those services are very large-scale services and are used by billions of people around the world. You would probably notice that they have never been brought down and you are able to access them at all times. And it's all because of a lot of security tools and operational resources that we have built over the years to protect our own services. Now, we are making those solutions available to our cloud customers.